guys, it's your girl Vani. Welcome to Pieces of Me TV. I'm back with another Basketball Wives of LA review. And I'm just going to say this. Jackie Christie has really, really lost her rabbit ass mind. And it is so obvious in this episode that Jackie ain't playing crazy. Jackie is just plain crazy, okay? So let's get right into it. Um, Jackie, Chantel, and Dre are still at this little bar or whatever arguing. Um, and now all of a sudden, Jackie doesn't want to be in the middle, okay? Well, you placed yourself in the middle. Neither one of them wanted to speak to each other. And you stirred that pot and got them in the same place at the same time and you ambushed Dre. Um, Chantel basically towards the end was mad because she felt like, you know, her mom was all gung ho for her confronting Dre. And then when they get there, she's like, oh no, Shani, calm down. Don't call her a bitch. Don't do this. Don't do that. And I kind of was with Shani a little bit because it's like when you, when you riding out, you riding out. Now, if you're not going to say nothing, don't say nothing. But don't try to chastise me in front of this bitch now. Don't do that. Okay. So I, I kind of just felt like, Jackie made her daughter look really stupid. Really, really stupid. And if I was to be mad at her, that's what I would be mad about. Uh, so then that's over. Um, Brandy and Drea meet. Um, I forgot where it was at. I think for drinks or something like that. And they're talking about the whole situation. About the whole friendly but not friends thing. Uh, Drea feels like she gave so much of herself and her, her time and her memories to Brady and their friendship and she just wants to take it all back. But y'all was friends for five weeks. <laughs> five weeks you were friends. How many memories do you have? That's what I need to know. Okay. Give her her little five dollars worth of memories Brandy and let her go about her day. I mean seriously it is not that serious. I did say that I did think that Brandy was wrong. Um, I do think that she should have kept that to herself. Uh, there was no reason, especially in that moment in time when Jackie and Sunday were talking about Drea uh, afterwards. I just didn't think it was the time for her to even bring that up. There was no reason. It ain't like they asked her, are they friends, you know. So I just didn't understand that. Um, but I do feel like Drea blew the whole thing out of proportion as far as the comments part. Now, what she does have a right to be mad about was, like I said, the fact that she brought it up to Jackie and Sunday right after Dre had left behind her back. So, okay, I do get that. And Dre basically told her, listen, you need to stop giving people things to talk about if you don't want to be talked about or if you don't want people picking on you. Stop saying crazy shit. Like, that's basically what she was saying. And Brandy's like, well, I just feel like I can't be myself then. I'm starting to think British was right in that last episode that Brandy ain't too bright <laughs> because why would you keep opening your mouth to have dumb things come out? Just be quiet. And Dre is trying to tell her, if you just be quiet, they have nothing to feed off of. They have nothing to dig into if you just shut your mouth. Uh, then it goes to Chantel and Jackie. They meet up and Chantel is basically upset with her mom because she felt like, like I said, she took her side. That was pretty much it. Um, and you know what? I want to talk about something because I noticed something when Drea and uh, Brandy were meeting and I thought it was just Drea and I've noticed it the past couple seasons that her lead press on nails just irks my spirit. And then I seen Chantel and Jackie with the same nails. I'm wondering, is this an LA thing? Like to have your nails look as fake as possible? Is that what that is? Because I mean, it's not cute. I mean, they nail straight look like, remember when Jamie Foxx used to play Wanda on In Living Color? Those were the type of nails that Jamie had on, okay? Uh, those were the type of nails that um, Martin had on uh, when he played, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Baby, what was her name? Shanae, there we go, damn it. Come on now, why the hell are your nails looking like that in 2014? I'm just saying. Maybe you need to fly out to Detroit and get your nails done because it ain't cute. Uh, Jackie and Sunday 
go to meet with that guy who I can never remember his name every episode. Um, they go to meet with him to talk about the cognac. Once again, I don't understand why Sunday has to go every time Jackie goes to this meeting. Is she in on a project or something? I don't understand. So Jackie throws out some of the names for her cognac. And I wrote them down because they were just that crazy. The first one was Jack Nack. Now this one, my personal favorite, this one reminds me of something that, like, like a sexual favor that a prostitute would do. You know what I'm saying? It has something to do with a penis. Like, I don't know. It just, Jack Nack just sounds like a sexual favor. Then there was Golden Shower, which I believe is Jackie's favorite because she continues to bring that one up. And I just don't think she knows what a Golden Shower is. Then it was Brown Boys, which sounds like a Jimmy John sandwich, okay? I don't know what she was doing when she, she had this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. These ideas were crazy. Uh, so then uh, the guy, who I can never remember his name, he lets the ladies know that, you know, now that we've got these things done, we're narrowing down the name, the bottle, and all this good stuff, we need to concoct what the actual cognac will taste like the different flavors and things like that were better to go but to cognac the actual place where it's made which is in France so he says you know I want to invite you guys to France you can bring whoever you want these basic bitches ain't never been to nowhere Sunday ain't never been nowhere outside of Philly and uh Jackie ain't never been nowhere outside of wherever hell she live LA whatever they ain't never been outside them places, okay? Because they, the way they screamed was so embarrassing. Like, y'all know to my black folks out there, I'm sorry to, to exclude other people right now, but I'm talking to my sisters and my brothers, okay? You ever been around some other black people and there's other races around and the other black people do something like that's just like crazy, right? And you get embarrassed, like, damn it, now they think we all eat chicken and, and drink watermelon smoothies. Smoothies. I'm just embarrassed. You know, like that's kind of the moment that I had when they were screaming like they ain't never been nowhere. And then in the confessionals, Jackie going to say, I ain't never been outside the country. I don't even have a passport. Bitch, that is nothing you want to brag about. I could have, mm -mm, I could have kept that. Anyway, so then Jackie comes home from wherever she was. And Doug has candles and rose petals everywhere. And did y'all peep that the rose petals was only on Jackie's side of the bed? That's because Doug don't sleep with her. And that's Jackie's bed by herself. Because they don't do sex, okay? Because they like two different things. Anyway, uh, Doug tells her that he got a call about going to Malaysia for a game. And he wants to take uh, Dougie with him, which is their son. Jackie's not really feeling it and she's like, you know, I'm just concerned about your safety I don't even know where the hell Malaysia is. Where is that on the map? You basic bitch If you don't stop embarrassing me on national TV I will block you on all social networks and I will not support this television show anymore. Okay? I'm lying. I love the drama, but you embarrassing me Jackie get it together um, so then she tells Doug about uh, going to France and Doug's like, bitch, you just had a problem with me going to Malaysia, but you going to France. How is that fair? Um, and, and Jackie, you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to Doug and other women. You need to be concerned about these men that's going to be in the same hotel as him. That's what you need to worry about. Next. Uh, Jackie, Brandy, and Malaysia meet at this little library. And Jackie invites them to France. And Malaysia started off with excitement. And then she said, okay. Now, don't start no shit. Don't start no shit. It won't be no shit. And then I started to think, well, are these all basic bitches? Because why was they on the globe looking for friends? Really? Really, people? I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, I just can't. Um, what happened next? Oh, so then they're leaving out the store. And they go separate ways from Brandy. And Malaysia says, you know, Jackie, I need to talk to you. Malaysia is a true fucking friend because Malaysia was like before I get on this plane to go to France to be buddy buddy with you bitches 
what the hell is your problem with my friend? And do you even like her in the first place? Why do you keep starting shit with her? And she's like, I adore Drea Michelle. That is my baby. I love her. I adore her. But that's my daughter. And I just need to get everything. She irks me when she says, my daughter, my daughter, girl, just call her by her name. We know who she is, okay? Uh, so, yeah, so Malaysia had to get an understanding on what the hell happened and what is she up to, okay? British and Goofy are laying in the bed and British is warning him, like, look, I'm going to cut off your penis if you don't act right while I'm gone. That's, that's basically what she said, okay? Which was pointless because Goofy is going to slide right into the next vagina as soon as he drop her off at the airport. Uh, Jackie and Chantel are at this restaurant. They're talking about... Her trip to France and this cognac thing or whatever. Well, Dre and Orlando pop up, okay? They're here. Boom, guess who stepped in the room? And they're going back and forth, you know, and everything. I did feel like Orlando was a little disrespectful, you know. And I, I, I get it. People are talking about you, you know, whatever. But there's a way to do anything and everything. So if there, what you wanted to do was to come there to get an understanding and to confront Chantel and get her to tell the truth. The way you're doing it in that confrontational way wasn't going to solve it. If anything, I would have called Jackie up and said, Jackie, can we meet, you know, me, you, Orlando, and Chantel? And if Chantel don't want to come, that's fine for her. But we need to meet so that we can get this off settled and stop talking about each other. Even though really I feel like why are y'all still beating this dead ass fucking horse? I'm going to call Peter on y'all. Leave this horse alone and stop beating this shit, okay? Please, please, let it go. Um, so then Chantel got really, really defensive, and which I can understand because she was ambushed. But I also feel like, why should I have sympathy for you, bitch, when you ambushed Drea when she was by herself? She was by herself. I mean, yeah, Jackie was there, but that's her mama. So, of course, Drea's going to feel by herself. So now it's two on two. What's the problem? You know, y'all do pop-ups, we do pop-ups too. But ultimately, Drea looked fucking stupid. Because there is no point to have any of this conversation. That's your penis. You sleep with that penis. You wake up to that penis. You slide with that penis. You do whatever you need to do to that penis to keep it. Okay? If that's yours, you worry about that. Why are you worried about the next bitch and what she did when y'all wasn't together? Why does it matter? Ultimately, you were upset that your shit got put on blast in front of everybody and on national TV. And y'all keep trying to one-up each other. Ultimately, you should let it rest because you should have the ultimate one-up. Bitch, I'm with them. Now what? It couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. I don't know what Drake's problem is. But really, I felt like the way she handled herself when Chantel ambushed her. She won there. She could have left it alone. She could have left it alone. Like you said, are you really mad that we're together? But no, you had to one-up it. Whenever Dre feels vulnerable or that she got got, she got to one-up you. Grow up. You are too old for this. You are somebody's mother. One day, hopefully, you'll be somebody's wife. Stop embarrassing yourself because that's what you're doing. And Orlando shouldn't allow you to embarrass yourself. Next. Uh, so after this, little fiasco um they leave and jackie calls sunday like girl you need to get up here right away she gets there she fills her in on what's happening um so jackie in the middle of them talking she's like you know i'm so classy and Chantel is so classy oh really because are we talking about the same person that took off her earrings as soon as they sat down and started talking that ain't too classy to me uh, then Chantel is upset because Jackie is still debating whether or not she should invite Drea to, to France. And she's like, basically, I'm going to translate y'all. Bitch, you're my mama, okay? I own you. You cannot like bitches that I don't like. That's the code. And if you ain't with the code, you ain't with me, okay? I just got in this grown man's face and had your back. Okay, while well, you was getting crunk in your seat, I had your back. And when it was time to have mine, where the fuck did my mother go? Nowhere. That's the problem. 
that is the translation basically of what she said okay but she couldn't say it the way she wanted to say it because it's her mama but then her mama pulled the mama card and met you are 20 i am twice your age okay then she pulled the mama card she couldn't really say anything but i know she wanted to and that was the end of the episode can't wait till uh the next episode when jackie and uh what's the girl name not british brandy when Jackie and Brandy get into it, I can't wait to see it. Because I tell y'all, I love Malaysia and I ride for Malaysia. Because when Brandy stood up, Malaysia stood up. What, bitch? I love it. Oh, I can't wait, y'all. Oh, this drama is so good to me. So I will see you guys for the Basketball Rides review next week. Please like this video. Go back and watch some of the past videos. Share it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. The links will be below to all my social networks that you can follow me on. Um, what else? Uh, duh, the number one thing, subscribe, okay? I look at my subscribers like family. Y'all my cousins, okay? My cousins, we could talk about anything, so leave a comment below, okay? We could talk about whatever, what you did today, uh, what you're looking for in the next episode. We could talk about Married to Medicine because no shade to myself, but I'm a little mad that I didn't review it. But I will try to review it next week, okay? So y'all subscribe so when I do review it, you can see it, duh. So anyway, that's all, folks. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.